Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of African boxing. And please, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it, and set it all. So it's not going to be notified. Let's talk about our brother Emmanuel Diaz, who just recently defeated um, Ami Bucheta. American based in uh Benjamin. Okay. Um we have to look at Emmanuel Diaz's performance. It is very important. It, it is very essential to look at it overall performance. Um looking at Amin's um Amin Bucheta uh, resume you can of of course tell that um uh, is that like nine losses to um he's been knocked out twice okay um he was recently knocked out by Jose Setauma that was last year um and then he got a win against the sun kissing and stuff like that but he's been knocked out twice he's a very durable guy okay for someone that has only suffered uh two brutal like brutal losses via knockout I mean these are nine losses but I mean two brutal knockout you look at Usually, when you look at a fight like this, you say, oh, why didn't uh, Odia said knock him out? You know, this is like literally uh, like, a, uh, you say, oh, this, this guy's a, a, a Johnny man, right? But the way Iman Odia said fought was very, very, very tactical, very interesting. Iman Odia said for me is a star, you know, is a star because not because listen not because he's got nigerian blood and stuff like that not because that yeah, yeah but because of i think he's one of the, the he's one of those guys that is going to become um an heavyweight sensation i mean in terms of like like he will become a champion no doubt if he keeps this up because he's got all the tools to become an heavyweight great um, he's, he's had, he has, he now has two wings. Okay. Um, um, one, one win van no card for sure. And in this fight, he didn't, it didn't go into this fight trying to knock Bucheta out, because if he hopped the pace from the beginning, which he did sometimes, but you can tell he was very patient, taking his time, avoiding Bucheta's um dangerous punches basically he treated Bucheta as a seasoned heavyweight fighter that was very very wise from Odiasa because the way he did it in fact I think it was around four or something he dropped Odi um, Bucheta you know and usually fighters after they drop someone with a body shot they, they want to pounce on them and stuff like that but Imano Odiasa kept his calm his cool and kept his composure that was very mature. Like literally, we know Jesse has had over 36 amateur fights. He's um he's a uh, he, he won the German uh, championship um uh uh Deutsche Meister uh, title, so championship uh, title. So um he is like amateur championship title. So he's 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 like he's that guy basically. But the way he fight, he fight like a seasoned heavyweight fighter. This will take you far. Especially knowing that I was expecting Odiasa to gas out basically in round five. I was like, okay, it's, it's different fighting as a mature, you know, as a, in, the, in the mature rank and stuff like that, fighting amateur fighters and you know, so but it's a different ball game in, in, in the pro. But what I didn't expect was Odiasa's gas tank still staying intact after five rounds. Okay, after round five. I was impressed. I was like, wow, man, this guy is really the real deal. His combination punches, excellent. His jab, he, he, he knows how to keep you on the bay with a jab. Basically, Odessa can literally, he's one of those fighters that can win you, that can win a fight just with a jab. The only thing I see in Odessa is that I think Odessa needs to buck up a little bit. I think that would come with time. You can tell that with. Odiasa as a fighter, like this kind of uh, physique that he has, he will literally like he will become like 
you should be this guy that will become a master boxer he's one of those guys i see as a as a future master boxer so and uh, in this game you want to get if you want to become a superstar of total superstar you've got to be knocking people out but i like the fact that he is very very composed he, even if he hurts you even if he hurts you even if he hits you and see you hurt he doesn't just go pounce on you and start throwing uh, haymakers and stuff. You know, he keeps his cool. He keeps on digging to the body, you know, jabbing your head off and just controlling the tempo. Not even let... Listen, Bucheta did not win one round. Not, not even... They, they, Bucheta had no chance. Of course, Itama stopped Bucheta, but Itama fights were different. Okay. Itama, first, I think he's a very, very... Like, that's another... Another, 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 another beast. Okay, bro. We've got Nigerian, uh, Nigerian breeds are coming, are coming everywhere, We're coming from every angle. They are taking over. There's another beast. However, I'm yet to see Tama like really control a fight like this, like him and yes. So the next generation of the of Edwards is gonna be interesting. I see so many styles in Odiasa. You can tell like he fights from the test book, and he does even more than that. He at some point he switched to Southpaw. That really surprised me the way I've never seen him. Like I've, I've, I've watched a lot of his amateur fights already, but he never really switched to Southpaw like that. But he did, you know. He even did a Loma, uh, a Lomachenko esque <laughs> kind of move, bro. I was I'm very impressed by Odias, and I can't wait to see him fight it again because the way he fires is his demeanor is the way he carries himself, and also it's, it's there's, there's this African tattoo, you know. That he has, I uh, mean, you, you, bro, man, but I, I don't like you, man. I, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait to see him fight again. And who I think he should be matched properly, matched with experience, you know, not rushed into uh, a big fight. But what I'm seeing in this is that he is ready to to go to. He is ready to fight a top, a top 15 fighter right now. But I don't think. That would be a wise move to do right now. He's with the right team. He signed. Uh, he signed uh, with AJ. He signed to a uh, two five MGT. AJ AJ boxing. And they're gonna and Matrum, and like guardian name as well. They're gonna match him, match him, match him up very well. And uh, I can't wait to see um, him become an world champion, bro. Like dreams are coming. As soon as Joshua retire, man. I want to bring this out, bro. All the SSF, I bless it, just don't retire before the SSF take over. As I say, as well, the skill set is just amazing. Amazing, you can just tell. So, bro, I understand that Bucheta is, but I believe he can fight against anyone like that and still come out on top. That's just facts. You know, he will keep you on the bay. He knows how to fight on the inside and stuff like that. And um, boxing fans love knockouts, and they will get that from Bucheta as well. With time, you see that. What do you guys make of the uh, performance? Go if you haven't watched the fight, go watch it now on Matroma uh, Boxing Life. It's on their channel, YouTube channel. I'll uh, just you know rewind back and you know, just watch it. Interesting. You'll be from the first minute. You'll be impressed with the uh, the way he, <laughs> the way he boxes is like like really amazing, man. <laughs> I can't wait to see him at the top. Like you to subscribe and uh, go to uh, God bless you all and thanks for all this support of the channel. Uh stay tuned for the next one. Here at Bamrisson. Oh,